classic game of football. They keep their finals hopes alive. They win it by two points in Kilda. 11-16 to 12-8, and much deserved too. Fraser Girick, four goals for the Saints. His season's tally now is 35. Scott Welsh got three for Adelaide. Now, the Crows led by as much as 23 points in the second term. They drew level twice in the final half of the game, but never took the lead. And I suppose St Kilda, when you look back on balance, probably deserved to win by more, David. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, they just worked so hard through the midfield. They had uh, a lot of very good forwards. We know that uh, Nick Revolt had his 18 marks. So uh, they, they had a lot of good players across the ground. But the one thing about the Crows, they never let you get away. They're always in the hunt. They're always in there with a chance. And uh, right until even 10, 15 minutes to go in the last quarter, you thought that St Kilda had control, but it mm. just didn't matter. Adelaide kept coming and coming, and they, they almost had their chance. But it was the desperate Saints... Their spoils, 28 to 22, tackles 68 to 61. Finals footy was on the line for them. This was their season, and if they weren't desperate, well, the Saints would have had problems. They came out and showed how to tackle, how to smother, how to shepherd, how to work for each other, and they were outstanding at just shutting down uh, Adelaide's run. But you've got to say, it's not easy to change gears midway through a game of football. They weren't good in the first term, and suddenly they really came to grips with the match, didn't they? That says something for their grit and determination. St Kilda's midfield probably was where it all took place. Beaten in the first quarter, suddenly dominant in the second term and possibly most of the third. Probably the uh, the best midfield performance by the Saints for the year. They uh, they linked up. I thought Burst was outstanding. He was that extra player that there's always one bobs up and I, I thought that Adelaide may not have uh, given him too much respect and he showed exactly what he could do and uh, he certainly got his hands on the foot. He kicked some pretty important goals. At the time. He certainly did. Uh, gee, he was... Uh, all their big men were just fantastic. This guy, Nick Revolt, as we said, 18 marks. But have a look at that. Kaczynski running back into the flight. That was uh, very early on. They're big guys. And, and big, they also had Bassett. They had Rutten out. McGregor had to go down back. This mark was just uh, a, 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 an amazing mark, especially for the point in which it happened within the game. It's uh, Their big guys were just too good tonight. OK.